Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. And this is the morning market preparation video for May 30th, 2019. So yesterday, yesterday I marked out where I thought the, the market could certainly go. And by golly, that's where I ended up going. Um, it's amazing how price support and resistance, once you study chart, uh, chart price action, learn to read price action, and look for those good support and resistance levels, how you can often come very, very close to picking out those places where the market is interested in moving to. And we did that yesterday, kind of suggesting that the diamonds had that possibility of running down here and testing that support at 250 or 25,000 on the Dow. Now that's a psychological support more than it is a real good price support. As you can see in the chart, there is evidence of price support right through this area, but it really is more of a psychological support area. Those big round numbers, um, uh, markets tend to gravitate to. So uh, holding that price action or holding that price support yesterday after dipping through just shortly is a possibility for that little bit of a, well, a glimmer of hope, that crack in the door that there may be a little relief rally that um, could uh, begin here. So this is this is what we call a hammer pattern if you're if you're new to candlesticks this is called a hammer pattern and what it stands for is hammering out a bottom now in the uh, the actual japanese um candlesticks the the original this was called a dragon and dragons are very very important to the japanese culture and that dragon would suggest um a higher um, a higher print comes after or the possibility of a higher print comes after so what that means is if this is going to be a hammer pattern it requires a follow-through that means we need to see a bullish price action follow-through of that candle it doesn't have to be that big or anything like that we just need to see that the bulls are going to support this candle and maybe give us that little glimmer of hope for a tiny relief rally now let me uh, i said tiny it didn't necessarily mean to say tiny but remember le relief rallies are um, or can be very short-lived i did not say recovery i said relief rally so kind of keep that in mind we could rally up here and bang our head into this resistance and that's as far as it goes we could also rally a little bit further and come right back up here and test this downtrend so keep that in mind. We don't have to have uh, uh, any kind of a massive rally. And let's also remember that bottoms are typically, if this is starting to be a bottom, typically a process where we'll move down, we'll rally up, we'll come back, we'll test, maybe make a higher low, maybe double bottom, something along those way, uh, lines before we actually start that process of recovery. So kind of keep that in mind. It's actually fairly rare when we see um, um, true V bottoms where we go down and come right back up. Okay, so just plan, plan to see that there's going to be some more back and forth. Now here was um, a period of time where this turned out to be more of a B, V bottom than I've seen in the market for a long time. But we did get that pullback after we broke the downtrend and that's what we want to look for. We want to look for that market to break above the downtrend, prove that it can hold the downtrend by testing it, and then seeing those follow through buyers. That's where we can get bullish the market. Until then, there's still lots of questions and there's concern here that we have to watch for. Let's take a look at the SPY real quickly. SPY did it also uh, did a good job of doing what we had suggested uh, yesterday as a possibility, and that was moving down to test that 200-day moving average right there. We popped into that 200-day moving average 
and then bounced right off of it. This line was to mark that 200 day average. So we have a very similar situation here where we've picked up a little support on that 200 day moving average. We've, we've left behind a hammer candle pattern and that requires that follow through, some upside move to prove that to be a good um, bottom support level and if we rally back to this price resistance or rally back up in here we still have to be on the side of bearishness as long as we're beneath that downtrend so think about that and be careful how you decide or if you decide to trade this price action the NASDAQ, I had mentioned the NASDAQ and pointed out the 200 day moving average, which is marked right here uh, for the chart, that we could run down there and see that. Um, we didn't get there. So we're kind of floating out here midair. And that's a little bit of a concern for me because markets don't like to just float there in midair. We like to have that place where we actually test. So I think there still is the possibility that the NASDAQ could see more selling eventually and test this level. But we'll want to watch that closely because we did get a bit of a hammer pattern. It's, this is more of a um, spinning top doji than a hammer pattern. Um, a little bit more indecisive than we saw on the SPY and the diamonds. But if we can get some follow through, maybe testing these resistance levels up here, that's where we would start to see possibly that concern of a failure to maybe make it back down there and test that level. So keep that in mind. The queue is not out of the woods just yet. But there is that little tiny glimmer of hope for um, a little bit of relief in the selling. Even though it may be relatively short-lived, at least it's a nice thing to see after um, so much selling to, to just have that nice little rest. Um, let's take a look at IWM. IWM pushed down and I suggested failing this level that means that IWM really does have the potential of testing this next support level down here however it did catch that little bit of lift and a little bit of hammer pattern here so one thing that can happen with a hammer pattern like this if we if we drop through a level of support and then return right back up if we can return right back up and then prove this level of support is substantial enough to hold it, we can move from there. But once again, we have that candle kind of floating out here in midair, and the possibility of that uh, lower test is still possible. So kind of keep that in mind. If this rallies back up, hits some of these um, additional resistance levels in the chart, we'll want to make note of that. There's a resistance level in here. There's our downtrend. Any rally up into here, um, we'll want to be watching pretty closely for that potential of more failure. And please keep in mind that IWM is well below its 200 day and 50 day moving average. So we have a little bit of an old oversold condition here as well that we're dealing with in the market. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the VIX. One thing that's been really, really odd and, and, and quite surprising to me is that with the strength of the selling we've been seeing, there has been no fear coming in to the market. It's a little bit odd to me that we're not seeing more fear coming in. Now I can't, I don't know if that's a complacency. I don't know if the market is just saying, hey, we don't think we're going to go down any further, but we want to keep an eye on this. Um, I would have expected a lot more fear um, yesterday in that sell-off and it just wasn't there. It just didn't happen. So that could be some good news for us. We could have rallied right up here to test this resistance area and now we get that pullback. So let's keep an eye on that. If that fear is not going to come into the market, maybe those bulls will have a little bit more opportunity to push those hammer patterns higher, give us that nice little relief, relieve some of the fear in the market, and we can move back down into this area here to test these support levels and possibly make that, that lower high 
um, in the VIX. So let's watch that closely. Let's take a look at T2122. Now T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And I gotta tell you, I get so many questions about T2122 when it's actually a very, very easy indicator to read. Essentially, it doesn't give us daily directional ideas, but what it does tell us is when we've reached um, conditions that would suggest a, a reversal. So we get we move down into these areas, and you can see how consistent this can be. We move down into these areas, and we get that reversal bounce back up. We move up into these areas, and we get that reversal back down. So I've got this marked on the chart, here, let me go to that daily. There we go. Um, marked on the chart that this is a, um, that we have tested, tested, and tested. We've bounced off of here, 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 and here. And then yesterday's selling put us down here, broke us down, and we've reached into that kind of extreme oversold condition. You can see we've done that before, and we can actually stay down here for a while. It doesn't mean we have to just bounce right back up, but we've reached that point in the market where we could start to experience that little bit of relief rally. Now, let's keep in mind that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that we shoot all the way back up. I did not say recovery, I said relief rally. And so we'll wanna watch these levels up in here, if we start to move back up for that potential that we've just stretched the upside a little bit too far as well. So watch that close. But T2122 is giving us that little bit of hope that a relief rally could be on the way soon. All right. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. Now, our economic calendar is going to have something to say about how the market responds today, I think. And that's because we have several important reports this morning. First, we have the GDP. Now, the last GDP report was very, very strong, showed us um, strength in the market and allowed the market to rally. I don't know if the GDP report is going to show that much strength today. If it uh, depending on how that number comes out, it will certainly have the potential of affecting how the market responds today. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. Also keep in mind that we have international trade in goods and jobless claims. And then after that, we have a um, gas report. I don't expect a pending home sales index or natural gas report to move the market, but the petroleum status report definitely can uh, because it will, it has that possibility of really moving um, those those oil stocks and as sensitive as the market is right now to any selling we need those oil stocks to be holding up as well so hopefully that uh, won't um, have a, any kind of a major uh, effect on the market today but we'll want to keep an eye on it and then last but not least we have a fed speaker um, here around noon today uh, noon eastern and then the fed balance sheet at the end of the day but it's these three three items up here and then the 11 o'clock petroleum status report that we'll really want to keep an eye on for the day in the calendar. Let's take a look at the earnings calendar. Our earnings calendar, um, another relatively large day on earnings, but nothing that's likely to really move the market a lot. Now we do have reports from some notable companies like Dollar General will be reporting today, has not reported at this point, but will be reporting today. Costco, Costco is one of those reports today. It looks like it may have reported, may have reported and looking for a little bit of rally here, not very much in that rally. We also have um, other retailers like um, uh, Burlington, Burlington reporting today, um, uh, Dollar Tree reporting today. Ooh, looks like Dollar Tree missed badly. Um, yuck. Uh, that's not not nice for the market. And then Lululemon um, also reporting today. So we'll want to keep an eye on some of these. Um, Ulta um, reporting today. So 
we'll just keep an eye on um, those stocks, but I don't see them being as the kind of stocks to really move the market substantially. Um, these are just not the companies that really move us around a lot. So even though we may get some good or good news, and looks like um, Ulta, well, it's hard to say um, whether it's reported or not. Um, it's unlikely they give us that substantial move in the market like we would hope for with an Apple or, or something along those lines. So just keep that in mind. Let's take a look. Um, um, on those index charts are showing us, um, and, and I looked at a lot of charts last night. There's a tremendous amount of technical damage in charts all over the place. Um, all sectors, there's technical damage in charts. So this will take some time to recover from, but it is nice to know that we've reached some of those key support le levels that give us the possibility of a little bit of relief, a little bit of lift, but we'll need to see that price action follow through to give us that help. As of right now, we're looking at a modest, a very modest open this morning, up 35 points. Let's hope those the, the economic calendar news gives us a little bit more energy to maybe lift um, off of that. Only time will tell. We'll have to watch that pretty closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day, and I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook if you happen to be watching the video there. Also, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Uh, guys, the... the you guys, uh, I just, I appreciate you so much. Um, you'll just never know how much um, I appreciate it. Every time someone clicks that thumbs up button and leaves a comment, it helps the algorithm show these videos to more people. You guys are the best. You are responsible for the growth of this channel. Thank you so much for that. And I truly appreciate it. Remember, my purpose here is just to help other traders. Um, uh, making money with YouTube is, is not what this is all about. This is just to help other traders do a better job uh, preparing for their day and of course there's all the free education that I put out there on the channel that you guys are all welcome to if you find these videos useful to you please feel free to share them on YouTube um, or uh, excuse me on uh, Facebook on Twitter and um, I truly truly appreciate that as well so let's take a look at a few charts that could be setting up. Now, I got to be honest with you. There's so much technical damage. There's not a lot uh, what I would call just fantastic charts, charts that we should just be rushing to for a trade. But there are some out there that are looking pretty good. Take a look at Shopify. Now, Shopify did pull back yesterday with the selling, and it's pulling back maybe to test this level of support in here again. But let's make note that Shopify is in a amazing trend to the upside, it has shown a lot of strength in this sell-off, not wanting to move lower. And so holding up quite well, and maybe one of those charts that you want to put on a list for a potential potential trade. Take a look at some of the pay systems out there like PayPal. PayPal pulling back but maintaining a little bit of hope in this trend. And if this can bounce up through here, we need some bullish price action, but if this can bounce off of this um, little trend in here and show us a bullish signal, there may be some opportunity here in PayPal. Just kind of the same way we would look at like MasterCard, MasterCard holding up quite well, showing us that trend continuation trying to hold this level of support it is certainly ignored or rejected really selling off based on the overall market so that could be a good sign for us here um, in in these charts you might also want to take a look at visa visa holding up well there's that little trend possibility holding right along a level of price support, trying to show some signs of strength here and ignoring the sell off in the market. So one to keep an eye, or a few charts to keep an eye on for the long side. There are also charts that continue to show um, significant bearish price action. Um, 
uh, you guys know that I have been mentioning Nike. Nike as a potential short. That one really broke down yesterday. This was where I had I had whoops I had mentioned it for a short um, last not this last Sunday the Sunday before as a potential short on this failure up here of the 50-day moving average. Now, I don't have the 50 on there, but there's that failure at the 50-day moving average. I had mentioned this as a possible short. Breaking this price support yesterday really um, set this um, into a bearish, uh, bearish pattern, not looking good. So there is a possibility of some follow through to the downside but any rally back is where I would be watching this any rally back coming back toward this price resistance for that potential short in the trade is what I would be watching for um, Etsy Etsy showing that possibility of failure yesterday. There's that downtrend rally back to price resistance and downtrend. There's that evening star type pattern uh, for a failure. And you can see that occurred right on the 50 day moving average as well, showing uh, some pretty, you know, strong ugliness there in that chart for that potential short. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. So there's a few charts for you to maybe put on your list. Remember, anything that I show you in here as possible trades are just something to for evaluation. It's not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. Put those on your watch list. Maybe mark them up. Watch those trades. See if they produce something for you. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I know this is a challenging market, and if you've been struggling, please remember you do not have to trade every day to be successful. What we do have to do is we have to protect our capital. We have to protect our business. And um, on times like this, sometimes it's often, you know, in, in, in difficult markets like this, it's often a good idea to just stand aside. Wait for your edge to return in the market. If you're a short trader, hey, maybe this may be your edge right now. If you're a long only trader or prefer to just trade long only, just keep in mind that we are not in a long market right now. Lots of volatility making it very, very challenging. So don't give up your capital during challenging periods like this. Stand aside, protect that money, and wait for your edge to return in the market. Everyone, have a great day. I wish you all the best, and we'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Take care now.